friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It's Friday, happy Friday friends. So it is another weigh-in day, WW workshop topic. We're gonna talk about how my week was, set some new goals and we're gonna talk about the challenge that is starting over on my Facebook group in the month of May. So you definitely wanna stay tuned for that. If you're excited for another weigh-in video, give this one a big, huge thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, I'd absolutely love to have you. Just hit the little subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Down in the description box, you're going to find my nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macro and calorie calculation. A lot of you have taken advantage of this service and said that you have lost more weight consistently than ever using your personalized macros and calories. So I highly recommend taking advantage of this. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions in both 30 and 60 minute increments. So there really is a little something for everyone. Links, discount codes to all of my favorite things and my Facebook group. You're definitely going to want to head over and join us there for the amazing May challenge coming your way. So make sure that you head on over and join us on Facebook. You'll find all of this down in that description box. So check that out before you go. So we have a way in to do a workshop to discuss some goals to set and a challenge to talk about. So let's jump in. So first I want to talk to you guys a little bit about my week. So overall, I had a pretty good week. As I mentioned last week, I've been struggling a little bit with tracking my food last week and after just feeling like that was the last thing I wanted to do, I decided to go ahead and not track for the remainder of the month of April. I am still eating mine fully. I am watching my portions. I'm choosing healthier options. I'm just not physically tracking. And to be honest with you, it was an excellent, excellent decision on my part. We have been so busy with our little puppy as well as real estate has ramped up a little bit for me as well. And then just YouTube, I have something exciting coming your guys' way when it comes to YouTube. So I've been working on that as well as this channel and my nutrition channel. So it just hasn't been top of my priority list. And I didn't want to beat myself up over it. And I didn't want to stress out over it every single day. So I just decided to take the rest of the the month of April and not track my food. And honestly, I feel less stressed out. I'm not thinking about food all the time. I'm not reaching for unhealthy foods. I'm still eating the normal things that I would be eating. In fact, right now I'm eating a healthy eating all the time and go bar for breakfast. So I'm still making good food choices. I'm just not physically tracking them. And it's been working for me. I haven't seen the scale go up. I haven't felt like I've gained weight, you know how you just kind of know. So, so far it's working for me and I'm feeling the relief of that pressure being taken off. So I will go back to tracking as of May 1st because that is when my challenge starts. The challenge is modeled after 75 hard, but it's not 75 hard. It's very, very different, but I did take the basis of that challenge and create my own for 30 days. I will go ahead and put here on the screen what is part of that 30 day challenge. If it's something you wanna be part of, just head on over to my Facebook group and again, it starts on May 1st. As you can see, part of that challenge is tracking my food every single day and staying within my points or calories, whatever you're following. So come May 1st, I'm back to tracking 100%, and I'm really excited to see not only how I feel throughout the month of May, but also how that contributes to my weight loss tracking my food, staying in my calories, getting in some added exercise, drinking my water. I'm actually pretty darn excited for it. And by taking the last couple weeks of April off and not worrying about tracking, it's making me even more excited to start tracking again May 1st. Like I said, sometimes we just get diet fatigue or we just need a break. And that's kind of where I've been. So before I share my way in for the week, let's talk about the WW workshop topic. We're still focusing on habits. And this is so important because honestly, tracking is a habit. Habit. We have good habits, we have bad habits. So I really like that they're focusing quite a few weeks worth of topics on the subject of habits. This week is about establishing a new habit by using a technique called piggybacking. So what the heck is habit piggybacking? This is where the desired habit is linked to a habit that you're already doing. If you're consistently doing the first habit, chances are you'll consistently do the second habit or the new habit. So how you set up a piggybacked habit is number one, you think about the habit you're already doing. So if you're someone who already weighs and measures all your food, 
then you can piggyback that already established habit that you do on a regular basis with another habit that you'd like to start doing like tracking your food. So you're already weighing and measuring, so piggyback that with tracking your food to create a second new habit. Every time you weigh and measure your food, you track it. That's how you create a piggybacked habit. If we can consistently do one positive habit, we should be able to consistently do two positive habits. That's where this whole piggyback technique comes into play. Pick one thing you're already doing successfully, weighing and measuring your food, you want to track, so piggyback that onto that habit, and it'll be a cue. Every time you weigh and measure, you track. You can really put this with any habit in your life that you do regularly that's positive and create a second regular positive habit right along with it. So I really like this topic. I think creating positive habits and piggybacking those to create more positive habits benefits us in every aspect of our life, whether that be weight loss or career, family, fitness, you name it. By having a healthy habit, we can certainly add an additional healthy habit to that. So now let's talk a little bit about my week. It was crazy. Like I said, real estate has picked up. I have a couple of clients that I've been showing houses to on top of creating content, editing content, having a new puppy, maintaining a household. It's been crazy, but it has been really nice not to have to track my food. It's just one thing I've been able to take off of my plate. I'm still preparing our healthy meals. You guys know I meal prep still, so I'm eating all of those meals. So I don't feel like just because I've chosen not to track the remainder of the month of April that I'm off course or that I'm really making bad decisions. And because I've been mindful of my portions, I've been eating the foods I would eat even if I was tracking. I actually lost weight this week, you guys. I lost the 0.4 that I gained last week. So now once again, I'm 0.2 away from hitting 60 pounds loss. This just gives me that little bit of added motivation to try to lose that 0.2 even without tracking the final week of the month of April. So it was a good week overall. I'm feeling really good. I'm happy that I made the no tracking decision, at least for the last part of the month of April. But with that being said, I'm also excited to get back to my normal routine, my tracking, my exercise, everything starting in the month of May. Now I have been going to jazzercise three times a week. It's actually been a little bit of a break from the chaos and it's been nice to just focus on something that I know is really good for me. So that's been actually a blessing over the course of the last couple of weeks. So now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how things have been going for you. And if you're interested in the challenge starting May 1st, just head over and join my Facebook group. All of the information is pinned to the top of the group. We're throwing in some money in a big pot for some added motivation. So definitely come over and join us. We'd love to have you. Also, let me know what you think about this piggybacking to form positive habits. I think it's a great idea and it is something that I'm going to focus on so that I can get back in the habit of consistently tracking my food. So if you enjoyed today's video, give it a big huge thumbs up and if you're new to my channel or you haven't yet subscribed make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a single video I do weigh-ins every single Friday don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching personalized macros and calories as well as my Facebook group so you can join the challenge and links and discounts to all of my very favorite things I can't wait to hear from you guys down in the comments and I'm excited to share with you the announcement that I have coming up here shortly and how things go in the month of May. Here's to losing 0.2 next week to hit 60 pounds down. Have a fantastic day, you guys, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.